Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Motive Media, and today we've got a brand new reaction to a new Zed track titled Lucky featuring Remy Wolf. This is the second single from upcoming uh, third record from Zed now, Talos, I think it's how you say it. And uh, I was not impressed with the first track, I'll tell you that. I didn't really like that one uh, that, at all, really. And so I'm intrigued to hear what the second track is going to be like. Lucky, it's short at just over two minutes, which is not a great sign for me personally, but I can't really... Talk about it without listening to it. So without any further ado, here we go. This is Zed's Lucky. In the morning, even though it still hurts a lot, would have been a lot worse if I stayed. I wanted to catch you. Don't regret it. No, baby, I don't regret it. Okay, I'm feeling this. I see where he's going with this one. Me looks like you in the silence. You were the only thing I wanted to catch you. But you put me like a magnet. Those layered vocals just sound very Zed like. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, that like harmonization choir. Okay, Lucky featuring, or Zed uh, featuring Remy Wolf. I substantially enjoyed that more than Out of Time. Uh, I would say yes, by a, a large margin. Um, my biggest issue with Out of Time, if you didn't watch that video, was um, I just thought the, the production and structure of it felt really odd. Like it just felt, the, the mixing felt flat. Um, the vocals didn't feel like they fit a whole ton with the track. And it just didn't, it just felt like a kind of, a, a, a yeah, just a dumbed down version of, of classic Zed. This, on the other hand, is a like pure like 2017, 16, 18 Zed style of like the the stay, the kind of like starving sound, like that that kind of Zed sound that where we didn't get a lot of albums for a long time. Oh, the middle is another great one. Um, where this like kind of very uh, jumpy, uh, more uh, not quite a, like a future bass fully sound. It is to some extent, but more of like a a funk house of some aspect or some area with a very commanding bass line that is that is there with these very intentional like dun, dun, like hits and shots and 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 intentionally breaking up the song uh and in in creating intentional moments of silence and so uh stylistically i really enjoyed this song i thought it was really great i actually think i might like this more so than some of the other um singles from that era like a stay or middle or something like that uh that being said it is short uh it is short and i and i don't love that there's that this is is the kind of trend we're going towards and that's a whole nother topic in itself but uh yeah i just i i don't necessarily love how just it just went it came and went kind of like that like it felt short like there's some short songs that when you listen to it they don't feel short they feel like they have more impact to them or they feel like they're longer this one feels short and i don't love that again i love the sound design of it i love the instrumentation i just I wish it was a little longer um, in that capacity. So uh, I'm, I'm really intrigued to hear uh, what the rest of this record is going to sound like at this point, because we've got now got like kind of classic Zed old school. And now we've got this kind of middle era, like this kind of post album era, almost where it seemed like Zed was never going to make an album again. And uh, I'm intrigued to hear where we're going to go next with it. If we're going to go like old school, old school, but um, yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think in uh, of the comments uh, or of this song in the comment section below. But other than that, I'm Dakota from Brotype Media and I'll see you guys in another video.